Hey guys, so this is the first video in the series. Uh, don't know how many there will be, but this is just about uh, my idea for a CNC machine. I'd seen a couple around on the internet. They look super cool, and I love that type of technical stuff. So uh, I, I started looking into them and figured out I could build one by myself for not too much money, like less than 500 bucks. So I got to looking around more, and I found this one. Basically, the criteria for my machine, I wanted it to be a router, so it you basically can use a Dremel tool or a full-size router, mainly for cutting wood, and you can do foam with it as well, and some light aluminum, maybe even very thin sheet metal. And um, I want it to be uh, at least a 3 foot by 2 foot cutting area, which means it'll have about a 4 foot by 3 foot um, footprint to it. And I also, I didn't really, like, I didn't need too much travel on the Z axis, or Y axis, whatever you want to call it, up and down. Um, I I was thinking probably just around six to eight inches, like it, not that much. But um, my main criteria was keeping it cheap because I don't want to blow a whole bunch of money on something that might not work or I don't, that I don't might not want to keep using. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep using this because this is super cool. So this this here's not mine, but I found this picture online. This is almost exactly what I want mine to be like, except. Mine won't be aluminum. Um, aluminum is, I don't know, what is just easier to work with for me, because that's what my tools are, like all my tools I have are able to work with aluminum. But um, I was looking around for some components and stuff, and uh, I was seeing things like, uh, I was looking for the stepper motors. I found these ones here, NEMA 23s. So these are 16 kilograms centimeter. So they're, I believe, uni unipolar. Um, they're, they're like really cheap too, like 23 bucks a piece. I just need three of those, so that comes to about 75 bucks, and that's good for motors. And then for the controller board, um, I decided on a Hobby CNC one. They have a kit. So I'm going to probably go with that for the controller board. It's like 70 bucks. You solder it up yourself. And then I'll just get a power supply off eBay. 24 volt, 6 amp power supply. And um, I'm going to basically start out with this. Uh, just making it as cheap as I can. And still have a semi good quality. Like semi good accuracy and stuff. And then once I have the actual machine built up. I can cut more pipes out for a more accurate machine if I want to. Um, and this is like these things. The more you look into it. There's actually so many little parts. That um, you have to worry about and stuff. But um, yeah. This is just brainstorming ideas for CNC machine. There's so many things to think about, like sizes, the machine you want, equipment you want, uh, what you want to cut, and like just what you want it to be made out of, like aluminum, MDF, stuff like that. And basically, I'm also thinking that I might be able to make some money with this thing because people might, like I've seen lots of CNC cut things, so people might want to buy them. Yeah. So. I think that it will be a really cool project, stay tuned, look for more uh, videos in the series where I'll show the design that I'm making in, um, in Autodesk Inventor and uh, my computer setup and stuff and then hopefully when I get to start building this thing I'll definitely post some videos up here and then hopefully I can get this thing operational and I will definitely post some videos and um, then I'll probably start making stuff for people if they want to buy stuff. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.